Hello everyone, so welcome to this first session of integrated marketing communication. It is going to be an interesting journey and this journey all through will take us towards many aspects, marketing with a fresh perspective, communication definitely is the backbone for all of whatever we are going to discuss in due course of time and how everything is integrated, especially the modes of communication which take us near to the customer, which marketer banks upon, how all those modes are integrated that is going to be quite a substantive part of this discussion. But at the end, I wish that we must realize that most of whatever is going around us is actually related to not just the integrated part, but the effectiveness of communication, the beauty of it, the creativity of it and let us see what, what comes out. So, let us actually find out what it is all about. Just for week 1, although uh, the description, the learning outcomes are related to 2 weeks at a stretch, but for week 1, we will try to resort to what is integrated marketing communication at large, role of integrated marketing communication in marketing. And that is where largely we would summarize week 1, but depending upon how it goes ahead, we may also take a part of what are the emerging trends and what is going on as far as whole of the scenario goes. And then week 2, we would be resorting upon the design thinking part, which is not only associated with integrated marketing communication at core but also constitutes nowadays a very large portion of how we think about communication and especially market communication. So, people have uh, started talking about or, or for quite some time now they have been talking about communication design as such. So, that is a separate branch which design thinkers are talking about. So, and then we would be talking of how to enhance the effectiveness or effectivity of communication. So, let us begin and let us begin with a thought about what com comes to the mind when we wish to hear something. You see, uh, I wish to put up a thought in front of you. I, I wish to you to think at this moment when you are hearing this that what actually you know. Uh, it, it hits our mind when we want to hear something. For example, you wake up in the morning and uh, you, what, what do you want? What, what kind of a sound do you want actually? Probably birds chirping around or, or let us say, you know, wind whistling around or, or whichever way, you know, the, the, the perspective here is that we actually want to hear something which uh, we are searching for. Most of the times nowadays, uh, you know, FM is getting very common and people switch on FM all around. Radio has been a part of our lives for n number of years, you know, I, I do not know since when. Uh, but then, you know, people want to switch on radios and these electronic devices and nowadays television and uh, people resort to their uh, mobile phones for that as well, but we want to want someone to tell us something which which is dear to us, which we feel happy about. A song, a note, a good morning note. Many a times I have found uh, these uh, uh, you know uh, people from uh, different radio stations wishing good morning in a very beautiful way, basically. So I, I remember there was a movie wherein. Uh, good morning was was a kind of uh, you know uh, uh, a sound which everyone was waiting for. I don't remember which movie I am referring to exactly, but but uh, you see it 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 actually puts you in in a position where you feel happy, elated, 
when when you go somewhere you know people wish you good morning and so on so so i can't talk about this endlessly but again so we want to uh, listen to something which we are searching for we desire for and want to feel and it would be irrelevant for me to uh, uh, talk about communication and things without referring to the period which we are passing through because this period has taught us so many things covid 19 has brought a devastation uh, it has it has it, it is unprecedented sort of an event which has taught us so many things actually we never we were not prepared about this we never knew how we would be actually behaving during this and we still don't know how we would be uh, behaving after this and i'm precisely referring to the kind of communication which we are doing with each other you see we we are at a distance now this is the most dear kind of a communication which now we are doing from a distance i am recording this for you and you would be listening it uh, to it after some time so so people uh, stop meeting each other all those things are changing now but but communication changed its form and this period you know uh there there is a very specific thing which i notice i don't know if you have noticed that or not this period has changed the connotation of the word positive itself earlier when we used to say positive positive meant something positive but today positive means you know something which may be we we may feel afraid of so so the connotation itself is changing and that is that is very precisely related to what we would be talking about in the subject marketing communication where in connotation of words it matters most it is very important for us actually you know the way those words are spoken those words are shaped up in in the form of you know sentences which follow or or which which constitute those uh, are constituted out of those words and the the sounds the music the scenario which is associated with those words and the way those words are interpreted so so this is all uh, related to when when we think of words so again th- this will uh, initiate a thought process in your minds and that is the whole purpose of uh, this first uh, you know slide which which talks about uh, several things apart from the stage we are passing through but but in the end the point is that all of us wish to feel happy and that is the whole purpose of uh, marketing communication as such bringing things closer to the customer i would be talking about this later on but but to start with you know uh, so once we want to feel happy where do we find so such words uh, most of the time uh, wherein we listen to those and we feel happy and even if they don't actually make us happy they connote connotate happiness they bring up happiness as a subject around us they initiate that thing basically and and i'll be just just in a short while from now i would be putting such kind of words in front of you where in connotation at least would be related to happiness so look around those words are all around us and and most of the times those words are magically found in advertisements marketing communication randomly pull up any advertisement randomly look at any advertisement which which brings up something which assures you which makes you happy which makes you comfortable which initiates a desire for something in you and and that is that is what we are looking for and here i welcome you to the mesmerizing world of integrated marketing communication it definitely should mesmerize you because once you enter into this world and start looking towards the uh, messages all around us the advertisements all around us the way organizations and products and services want to reach to you once once you you know step into it you will really feel that there is so much of creativity there is so much of thoughtfulness 
in in fact you know we we uh, we can say that it's magic we can call it magic because it propels it motivates we start desiring for things we start aspiring for things we go and actually convert that thought into a purchase we come back home happily after purchasing that thing which we we started desiring for so that magic is found where start watching some messages today and you are doing that actually you see so our life is is uh, surrounded by messages as i said since morning till the the end of the day till the last time you actually look at your mobile for the one last time when you put off your eyes and i have seen so many people they tell me that uh, they they whenever you know they open up their eyes uh, in the night also because of any other reason whatever you know they they want to have a sip of water they they still want to look at their mobiles so so we will talk about this if we you know go towards that kind of mode but again the point is that you want some message actually that is why you are looking at your mobile you want to look at some words which are coming to you might be you know from where they might come might be you don't know but again you have this in mind that i want something basically in that that uh, you know hour of your life where in you know a whole of the world is sleeping and so on so what some messages and try to realize that many of the messages many many of those they mention zindagi now uh, this is one of the most effective words you must have heard of you must have heard of this you must have spoken this word many many times and and uh, one realize, realizes oh my god it it actually elevates you zindagi and and uh, imagine a television set switched on in an hospital and a patient is watching something probably an advertisement which talks of zindagi imagine a mother carrying her infant in a line of uh, you know an immunization uh, program in a hospital and and uh, she is taking her infant to uh, you know for for two drops of polio uh, vaccine and then suddenly the sound comes mr amitabh bachchan is saying do boon zindagi you see the kind of effect that that word zindagi actually puts on the mind of that mother who wishes for a very long life for her child and mr amitabh bachchan has definitely done his work basically and that was one of the most successful campaigns ever made do boon zindagi ki to support uh, the polio camp uh, this is uh, uh, campaign against polio and and uh, india did very well so we all know about that there are several other kinds of such campaigns which we would be talking of which we would be referring to i would definitely urge you to look into television now and then and to find such kind of things for you and now now onwards try looking at the communication and the effect it it has brought to you effect it brings you around now always when you hear do boon zindagi ki talk to uh, someone who has you know gone through the process of getting polio drops for their child or or infant and talk to them you know what have they felt what this what this word actually has initiated in their mind what kind of a thought comes to their mind after those two drops you know when when this do boon zindagi ki flows in and after those two drops they just fall into the mouth of a child mother feels safe that now child would be away from polio uh, that is that is the kind of impact this communication brings in this is all about the magic it carries you know for example khushi again a beautiful word khushi just speak two or three times you know khushi happiness and suddenly you find an advertisement on television saying khushiyon ki chabi now beautiful you see khushiyon ki chabi you have a key to happiness it's such a wonderful thought basically someone who has written these three words is definitely a magician 
because the kind of impact this this tagline has brought in on people is mesmerizing actually and, and uh, uh, when uh, when i was mentioning that you want to start your day with uh, something beautiful some sound there there is one tune which i i definitely want you to hear and uh, let's see you know and and just remember that there are thousands of such tunes which have been developed and and uh, they are part of several kinds of advertisements all around us but just just to bring the point to you just listen to it and then i'll go further ho shuru har din se ho shuru har pal le se nice cafe you see ho shuru har din aise and this this uh, little uh, sound shankar mahadevan has sung that and uh, shankar ehsan loy all three are uh, filmed in this advertisement and they are playing this beautiful tune and they are actually you know initiating this thought of that the day should begin like this so this is nescafe advertisement and and just watch it on youtube and you would realize you know what kind of an impact just just play it in the morning let's say you know every morning for 3 4 5 days i'm not saying that you would start drinking nescafe if you are uh, you know uh, more into tea rather than coffee but definitely you would get attracted towards this idea you know, you, would, you would feel like looking at nescafe with a different kind of a perspective after this probably yes so and i'm not saying that this is the only reason you would start drinking nescafe or or you might start liking it but this is going to create an impact and that is what this magic is all about and then you must have heard of dill and more and i don't have to tell you what i'm talking about you know when you say ye dill mange more so and it's it's beautiful actually again you see what look at the thought process associated with this tag line look at the impact it has created in our minds and there are thousands of such tag lines and then i can keep repeating these kind of things but at this moment i'm talking about words very specific words for example aao chale let's go you see it it actually again brings something to our mind which which is related to going ahead aspirations for example asman akash it brings in you know an openness blue beauty in our minds have you heard someone saying aapki apni yes probably the aapki apni dukan is coming to your mind you know, find out which organization is trying to promote themselves through this tagline aapki apni dukan you must have heard of dosti now again very beautiful very beautiful word which which talks about you know compassion closeness dependence so many things so so if a product is telling you that we are your friends dost hai hum aapke then then it is actually bringing you closer to themselves we are there for you har kaam desh ke naam this is what indian navy says go to their website and you will find this tagline there and this actually you know enhances your spirit that whatever am i doing and if i am of that age and that that caliber i should be thinking to you know join the defense forces and then suddenly those distinguished gentlemen they come to your mind you know walking in their uniforms and then suddenly your mind goes towards that kind of thing people like me start thinking why i didn't do that i don't know i don't know but but again i still aspire for if time could be reversed and and i could have joined the forces so then raksha safety again it brings assurance any insurance company or any bank if if they talk of these kind of words which are related to assurance safety dosti it it actually 
creates dependence in your mind. It actually makes you realize that this is where you know I, I should get associated with. And this is one of my favorites basically. Ghar jaisi koi jaghen ho hi nahi sakti. Ghar jaisi koi jagha ho hi nahi sakti. Now this is again uh, you know such a mesmerizing kind of a statement wherein every one of us universally almost all of us we think of homes. This is a tagline uh, given by a healthcare organization. And again, I would like to you know play a beautiful tune for you just to give you again a feel of how this works. Probably that is going to make you realize that how music plays an equal part as far as the words go. This is a beautiful advertisement, one of my favorites and once you uh, visit this website and see this advertisement, you would realize that the kind of comfort it generates in the minds of patients and their families as well, the kind of assurance it generates, this, this very specific tune imbibed in that storyboard and where the this this tagline comes in the end wherein they they generously beautifully say ghar jaisi koi jagha ho hi nahi sakti it's there there is nothing like home jaldi ghar lote go back home early a healthcare organization talking about going back home early as possible is such a big assurance to a patient actually because everyone you see no one in this world who goes to hospital does not wants to go back home. So, everyone wants to go back home and this is a time which has actually proven this kind of a thing more than anything else you know these past two years or so wherein COVID-19 broke and uh, in India it, it uh, started spreading since March 2020 and it is almost 18 months when I am talking to you. So, last 18 months so many people had to go to hospital. So, this this simple assurance through these kind of words definitely it matters a lot and this is what we are talking of. And I am not saying that you know uh, one should just rely and one should just follow start following these kind of things, but, but here we are talking of the power of communication and how effectively it can be associated with marketing and then we will talk about the integration part later on. So, ladies and gentlemen largely this magic takes you towards hope and this is one of the most important words associated with integrated marketing communication hope. Why it is so important? We will realize this in due course of time, but by the end of this course you would realize that almost whole of the world of integrated marketing communication is associated with this word hope largely largely i'm not saying other other keywords are not there but largely it is associated with hope basically and I'd, i'll talk about this more but then somewhat there is fear as well and and that fear tells us that this may happen if this is not taken care of. To gazduri mask hai zaruri. Now, this is again Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, you know, kind of, uh, it might be coincidental, but definitely that sound is assuring, but then it generates a caution, not fear, caution. But, but then definitely caution is also related to hope that if you follow this, then definitely you are safe, you are, you are you know bound to be safe more or less. 
So, now look at this what, what we have been talking of for past few minutes. We are talking of the power of words, hence the power of communication, how it is working around us, why it is working around us because we want it that way. Why? Because we resort, resort to hope every morning we wake up. Umid pe dunya kaim hai. Hope is actually propelling this world. We, we hope that this situation would pass away, th uh, things would be normal, we would have our life back. We are urging COVID-19 to go away, leave us alone. We have lost enough. We are fighting, but we are slightly fed up. We just want to carry on, we just want to carry forward. And what is propelling us? Hope. And during this time also, if you will look into the messages which are coming all around from all the organizations and most of them are responsible enough to deliver messages which are related to flaring hope amongst the minds of the customers. And every, every communication is telling us that things would pass. Just hold on, just hold on. And that is what what this marketing communication and its magic is all about. So, I will take a pause here, I will be talking to you once again in the next session. Thank you.